Hello guys and welcome to the video. Today I will show you how to create a moving animated hologram on a still picture like this one. So this is really cool if you wanted to post it somewhere on social media or impress your friends. So we are going to do this in After Effects, so let's get started. Okay, so first of all we need two pictures. One picture you want to put the hologram on. I have one picture with my phone, you can use anything for your picture, maybe your watch or your tablet. And you need another picture as a hologram picture. You can use any old picture or just download some uh, picture from the internet. It doesn't really matter. I have one picture from before, so I'm gonna use that one. Now we need to put uh, everything here into the project panel. I'm just gonna go and drag and drop them. Here I have a first picture. If you don't see it, you're probably here under effects and controls. Just go under project and you'll see your picture. Grab this picture, put it into the timeline and this will automatically create a new sequence for you. I'm just gonna drag my other picture, it's a hologram picture here and of course put it onto the timeline as well. Just put it above the other picture and there you go. Now this picture is really big, we need to adjust it so we need to make it smaller. For that just grab one of the edges and if it distorts like this just hold shift and there you go. Now adjust it and place it where you want to be. I think that this is okay. Now here, uh, if you have all these modes, parent link here, you're okay. If not, you'll probably have your toggle and switches like this and you're in this panel here right now. If you're here, just click on the toggle switches and modes and on the hologram picture under modes put overlay. Uh, now we need to add an effect to our picture. So, go to Effects and Presets and type Venetian Blinds. I don't know how to pronounce it right. Uh, here we have Venetian Blinds and just drag and drop it onto the hologram picture. Go under Effects and Controls and you have the Transition Completion option. For that, put 20 or 30, of course, depending on your picture. Now, we need to add another effect. Go under Effects and Presets and type Glow. You have this glow under stylus, don't choose this VR glow or dimensional glow, just normal glow and drag and drop it onto the hologram picture. We're gonna close these Venetian lights here, so it doesn't confuse you. And under glow we have, we, we can see that we have some different glow effects here. So under glow threshold put 40, glow radius 250 and for glow intensity 2. Maybe 2 it's too much, 1.5 and there we go. Of course you don't need to copy every every number that I put here. You can just play with the numbers so it fits better for your, uh, for your picture. Now we're done here and we need to adjust this hologram so it looks like it's coming from the phone. For that click on the hologram picture here, click R and that will bring the rotation settings here. Go onto toggle switches and modes and activate this cube here. This will bring us the advanced rotation settings. And you can see here we have some arrows. Now I can really show you how to do this. You just need to make this uh, to look like it's coming from the phone. So let's do it. Okay, I think that this is good and now we need to add something that looks like light that is coming from the phone. So to do that I'm gonna close this hologram here, go under the timeline and just click right click new and then solid. For the color I will choose light blue, you can choose any color depending on your picture. You can choose blue so it looks like a hologram but for this tutorial I'm gonna use light gray, I'm gonna click OK, OK and that will create new solid. Grab the pen tool and just draw a random shape around, doesn't really matter, we're gonna just adjust it after. Now we need to adjust this so it looks like light coming from the phone. So grab these edges and let's do it. I think that this is okay, now click on the grey solid here, go toggle switches and modes and under modes put it overlay. Now we need to add a glow on this gray solid, but instead of adding a new glow, we're just gonna copy the glow that we have on the hologram picture. Click on the hologram picture and under effects and controls you will see all your effects. 
Here you have the glow, click on the glow and just click Ctrl C to copy the effect. Go onto the gray solid, onto the effects and controls and just Ctrl V to paste the effect. Now we can play with these um, settings a little bit so it's not the same. I'm gonna make it like this. And I think this is okay. Now we need to add another effect. So go under effects and presets and type fractional noise. Not this weird fractional noise or just fractional, under noise and gray, fractional noise. And drag and drop it onto the gray soft. Close this glow so it doesn't confuse you. And now we have some options here for the fractional noise. Under fractional type, instead of basic, put it on dynamic. And under noise type, instead of soft linear, put it on block. Go under this transform here, click on the arrow and just uncheck this uniform scale. You will see that we have the scale white and scale height differently right now. For the scale white, just put it on maximum and for the scale height, just lower it a little bit. And I think that this looks okay. Now, as you can see from the title, this is a moving hologram, so we need to animate it. For that, go onto this evolution here and activate the stopwatch. Make sure that you're at the beginning of your timeline and just click on the stopwatch here and go forward, of course, depending how much you want your video to be, let's say 20 seconds here. And for this first value here, put maybe 70. And now if you play this back, you can see that the hologram is moved. But it still looks ugly because the edges of the, the light are really sharp, so let's make them softer. For that, go under the gray solid, click on the arrow here, click on mask and mask one. For the mask feather, just make it bigger, like this. Now if we play this back, I think this is better. I think that we need to lower the opacity a little bit, close the mask here, go under transform and for the opacity make it maybe 50%. Let me play this back now. I think maybe 60 it's going to be better. And I think that this looks awesome. Of course, you don't need to um, add all the effects that I added. You can just add these effects and you can play with the settings a little bit so you can adjust it uh, as you want. Of course, you can add more effects as well. But I think that this is the, the, the most basic tutorial for the hologram, moving hologram effect on still picture. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. And if you do, consider liking and subscribing. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.